Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about another part of the nervous system that gets affected with high blood glucose or high insulin. Okay. In other videos I've talked about the damage to the brain, your memory, your cognitive function. I've talked about peripheral neuropathy which is damage to the nerves in the hands and the feet because high levels of insulin and high levels of sugar destroy the blood vessels that go to the nerves. But the autonomic nervous system is another part of the nervous system that is not commonly talked about. Okay? The autonomic nervous system is composed of three different sections. You have the sympathetic nerves, which is the flight or fight. You have the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest and digest and recovering from stress. And then you also have the part which is called the enteric, which is all the digestion. So the autonomic nervous system is that system that works below your conscious awareness. It works on automatic. So when you have a neuropathy, nerve damage of this system, you can have a problem with the bladder, retention, lack of control where you have to wear a diaper, uh, leaky valves. Your genitals could be also affected. Impotency, you can't get an erection. You don't have a libido anymore. Digestion. There's a condition called gastroparesis where your stomach just doesn't empty very fast. So everything is very slow. Of course, if you have a slow digestive system, you're going to end up having constipation because you're not getting the full digestion. And then you're going to have problems with the heart, blood pressure, either high or low, pulse rate, either high or low, or rhythm problems like atrial fibrillation or heart palpitations. You can also have problems with breathing in oxygen exchange, as in sleep apnea. So the consequence of high sugar and high insulin on the nervous system is quite extensive. But the good news about this is that if you can control the sugar and you can lower the insulin, you can heal some of these disorders. I'm seeing this happen all over the place. When you put people on a healthy ketogenic diet and an intermittent fasting, you see amazing things clear up that you wouldn't necessarily think could clear up. You see bladder improvement, improvements with the sex organs, great improvements with digestion, cardiovascular, and the quality of sleep. So just because you have these conditions does not mean it's permanent. So I put a link down below. For those of you that are new to this, you definitely need to look into the area of keto and intermittent fasting. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, press subscribe and I will definitely keep you updated.